Hello, my dear semi inter students. So, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are discussing the financial accounting, the chapter wise weightage with marks on the basis of past exam question paper. My dear students, this video will be useful to score 80 plus marks in your financial accounting. So, I have divided this analysis in three parts. Number one, MCQ discussion, number two, descriptive description where you need to solve the question paper and third one, com combination of both. So if you do all this analysis, it will be useful for you to know from which chapter, how many marks the paper set is asking the questions to you. So my dear students, let's start. So first of all, if you see the account fundamental of accounting that is MCQ part we will be discussing first. In that, in December 2023, they have asked for six mark, that means three MCQ they have asked. Then June 2024, that is 14 marks, and December 24, 10 marks. Then bills of exchange, they are frequently asking again one MCQ. Consignment, very rarely they ask the MCQ. Then joint venture also very rarely they ask the MCQ. Then preparation of financial statement that is called for profit making organization. They ask in the December uh, 23 for 6 mark. June they have not asked any question for MCQ. And December 2024 they have asked for 2 marks 1 MCQ. Thereafter preparation of final account for not for profit making organization frequently they are asking 1 MCQ my dear students. Thereafter if you see for same uh, December 20th they, they have asked 3 MCQ whereas June 24 they have asked 1 MCQ and December 24 they have asked 1 MCQ only. Incomplete record again they are frequently asking one MCQ my dear students. After that partnership accounts also frequently asking the MCQ. Branch account very rarely they ask the MCQ. Thereafter departmental account also very rarely they ask the MCQ. Insurance claim last like that, that is called December 23 no MCQ. June 24 one MCQ they have asked and December 24 they have asked no MCQ. Thereafter, my dear student, higher purchase and installment that is called sale transactions, they have asked only one MCQ in December uh, 2023. In June 2024 and December 2024, they have not asked any MCQ. So, in, uh, in accounting standard, if you see, they have asked only AS10 one MCQ that is also in December 2023. June, no, they have not asked any MCQ and December 24, they have asked one MCQ for two marks. Then after my day soon, AS11, no MCQ, AS12 also no MCQ, AS16, they have asked any MCQ. If you see in, they have asked one MCQ and AS22, there is no MCQ my dear student, there is no MCQ for uh, AS22. So if you observe all these things my dear student, what here we have discussed till now. So what are the chapter important for MCQ point of view? That is number one, fundamental of accounting, that is called accounting fundamental. In that they are mostly asking the MCQ from depreciation chapter, then rectification of error chapter, then revenue and capital transactions and basics of accounting that is accounting concept, then accounting equation my dear students, so you should focus on this area. Bills of exchange also they are asking, so the second priority goes to bill, bills of exchange. Thereafter joint venture and final account for profit making or non-profit making organization they generally ask the MCQ based on the question which you are solving from your study material. So you don't have to study separate theory for this. Thereafter, partnership, same thing, they will be asking uh, MCQ. So 
still this is very important that is fundamental accounting bills of exchange consignment joint venture preparation of final account for profit making and not for profit making organization incomplete record and partnership up to this they generally ask maximum mcq in the exam my dear students this is the overall picture of the mcq so let's come to the next part of the descriptive question my dear student in the descriptive fundamental of accounting they have asked december 23 12 marks questions june to 2024 they have asked 14 mark question and december 24 they have asked 19 mark questions that means definitely from the first chapter they are asking two descriptive questions there might be seven marks plus, plus seven marks or seven marks plus five marks or seven marks plus seven marks plus four marks are you getting or five marks based on the weightage they are asking but on an average first chapter on an average first chapter if you observe my dear student along with the mcq they will be asking first chapter 18 to 30 marks minimum 18 marks the chapter is coming and maximum 29 to 30 marks they will ask in your exam so if you see the passing we need 40 marks so if you cover the accounting fundamental itself they are giving you the 50 percent for what you need for your passing and this analysis will help you so many students they ignore the first chapter and they focus more and more in partnership and all so my dear so you don't do this mistake focus first chapter because the weightage for first chapter is minimum 18 marks they definitely will ask and maximum 29 marks i hope it is clear let's come to the next my dear student bills of exchange they ask let's see at december 20th they ask one question june 2024 they have not asked any question and december 2024 they are they have asked again one question for seven marks now choice is your for june 2025 will they ask the question it's up to you okay next my dear student consignment so consignment again june that's called december no question june 24 they have asked one question december there was no question this attempt they are going to ask one question from the consignment my dear student for seven marks i hope you are able to get my point so june 2025 you will get one question from the consignment joint venture generally they ask the mcq for a joy from joint venture chapter so focus on the uh, mcq preparation of final account for profit making organization generally they ask one question last attempt they haven't asked any questions so previous two attempts that's december 23 and june 24 they ask one one question last time there was no question so upcoming up attempt there might be one question from the financials that is called final account of a profit making organization final account of a not for profit making organization last three attempt they have not asked any question but they have asked the mcq now the probability the possibility of leaving the chapter won't get vanished you must study this chapter also come to the next one incomplete record frequently each and every attempt they are asking one question for 14 marks that is if you see december 23 they have asked for 14 marks june 2024 also they have asked and december 24 also they have asked for 14 marks so my dear students june 2025 also one questions there may, might be chance that one question examiner or paper setter may ask you next my dear student partnership 18 marks 18 marks and 18 marks compulsory but partnership very vast very 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 
big chapter my dear students so if you want so what we need to cover in the partnership you can comment me in the comment box so that i can guide you what to cover in the partnership in your june 2025 attempt next my dear student accounting for lease last two attempt they have not asked any question december that is uh, december 23 they have asked only one question for seven marks so this time they will ask one question there might be chance that a paper setter will ask one question from the accounting for leases for seven marks thereafter branch accounting again one more question is there my dear student every attempt they ask thereafter higher purchase and installment compulsory question will be there each and every attempt they generally ask the question from the installment and higher purchase chapter thereafter there is a accounting standard my dear student so if you see the accounting standard so last attempt also as1 generally one question will fetch one question they will ask from the accounting standard my dear student that is as1 as10 last attempt there was no question so this attempt there might be one questions from the as10 thereafter as11 my dear student i don't expect any question in the in the june 25 attempt from as11 as12 also i don't expect any question i expect the question from as16 that is called borrowing cost one question the paper setter may ask you from uh, as16 thereafter as22 you may get one mcq uh, so prepare for the mcq uh, from as12 my dear student so this is the overall idea so if you ask me sir which chapter we should cover so as i first discuss accounting fundamental then bills of exchange and then consignment my dear student then profit making organization and incomplete record you should study together profit making organization and incomplete record you should study together my dear student thereafter lease accounting is very important and higher purchase and insurance claim insurance claim also each and every attempt they ask the question my dear student this is also compulsory come to the next my dear student in the combine of both mcq plus descriptive if you if you see this so first we discuss accounting fundamental bills of exchange consignment and then you should cover preparation of final account of profit making organization and income to record you definitely must cover because if you observe this come 13 marks plus 16 marks 5 marks plus 16 marks 2 marks plus 16 marks that means 18 marks my dear student if you observe this my dear student in first three chapter and preparation of final account for profit making organization plus incomplete record will give you more than passing marks but we don't want the passing marks so what we need then we need to score exemption in the financial accounting so if you do this it will help you to score the 80 plus marks in the financial accounting my dear student thereafter you must cover the financial account uh, that is called insurance claim higher purchase and lease accounting my dear students thereafter there is some as which we already discussed what which as you need to cover that i have already told you so my dear students i hope it is clear to everyone focus on this chapter my dear student definitely you will get the maximum marks in the financial accounting my dear student accounting is very very beautiful topic so you must know the concept of accounting if you know the concept of accounting you can score the more marks you can score maximum marks in the accounting so okay my dear students uh, if you want the most important questions on the basis of weightage or if you want chapter wise most important question you can comment me in the comment section next video will discuss the most important questions if you require so okay my dear students 
uh, i hope it is clear to everyone i request everyone please subscribe our youtube channel which will be useful for you and whenever i upload any videos it will be directly uh, shares share to you so okay so thank you my dear students all the best it's time to say tata bye bye to everyone with a beautiful smile on your beautiful face take care my dear students